Hello, hello, oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> everyone. I recently acquired some books and I thought it'd be fun to do a haul with you guys. I haven't done one in a while, so let's get started. I recently went to Arizona to visit my family and of course I had to hit up Half Price Books because we don't have one here. So sad. I found Slammed by Colleen Hoover and this isn't the best copy. There's like kind of gross stuff on it, but I have never seen a Colleen Hoover book at that Half Price Books, so I had to go ahead and pick it up. Colleen Hoover writes like love stories and romance stories. I absolutely love her writing. I totally get lost in it and I can read it within a couple of days. So I was really excited to find this. This one is about slam poetry. I think it's one of her first books, so I am really excited to try this out. I don't know why with hauls I feel like I need to reiterate that I'm excited to read the books. I mean, duh, I bought them. I'm excited. <laughs> Moving right along. I'm gonna seem like a Colleen Hoover fangirl in this video, but recently I just rediscovered her and I was like, yes, I need every single book she's ever written. So I ended up picking Ugly Love and It Ends With Us. This is her newer book. This has been out for a little while. They're both love stories. I could go into detail, but that's all you really need to know with their love stories. I went to Target and I found Come Back To Me, which I have been eyeing for a while as well. This book is about a girl named Jessa and she ends up falling for her brother's best friend. And they both are Marines. And it's kind of like an off-limits love story. But the kicker, and these aren't any spoilers because it says it on the back, she finds out that one of them died and she's not sure if it's her brother or her brother's best friend. And, I mean, this sounds very intense. I'm not even sure if it's a young adult. It might be a new adult, but it sounds sad. And also, like, really cute. Because, yeah. Some people, while they're on vacation, buy souvenirs. I buy books. While I was in Arizona on vacation, we went to Target, and they were having a buy two, get one free book sale. And I've never seen that at Target ever, so I took advantage of it. The first book that I found there was Empire of Storms, which is a Throne of Glass novel. I have the entire collection, plus this one now, and I've never read them. Does anybody else do that? They just like go ahead and buy the entire series because they know the author and think they'll like it? It's not just me. That's a bad habit, I know. Going along with books that I got at Target, I found Replica by Lauren Oliver. This is the same author of the... Requiem, um, Pandemonium. What is the first one? Good thing I have all my books behind me so I can know what I'm talking about. <laughs> At least look like I know what I'm talking about. Um, I just put these up. There's Requiem. Delirium. The Delirium series. She's the author of Delirium series and Before I Fall. I found out it's a first edition signed copy. Oh my goodness. This book is basically about clones and human replicas, that's why it's called Replica. What's really cool about this book is that you can read it from the first girl's perspective, Lyra. And it's just a normal book. But then you flip it over and you can read it from Gemma's perspective and it's her side. So literally you can just flip this book and decide. Or you can also read a chapter of Lyra's perspective and then go back and read a chapter of Gemma's perspective and they kind of coincide together. So I, I feel like I get way too confused doing it that way, so I might just do it one at a time. But the reading experience is what is really important about this book and I think that's really cool. It's just something new and something different. Since I bought those two books, the one I got free is... Drum roll! <laughs> a dog's purpose! Oh my goodness, my friend Carly told me this was a really good book and to buy it. And then I saw the movie. I saw, I saw the movie. I need to take a minute. I saw that movie. Girl! <laughs> that movie! Basically, I ugly cried through the entire thing. Dogs make me cry. 
Anyway, I bought the book before I saw the movie, but after seeing the movie, I'm even more excited to read this. And last but not least, I thought I'd throw in a book my husband bought me. This is What Light by Jay Asher. He is the author of 13 Reasons Why. I've heard mixed reviews about this. I've heard it was good and cute, and I also heard it's like kind of harmful and abusive. So, <laughs> Either way, I'm excited to check it out and form my own opinions about it. It's basically about a boy and a girl, and apparently this guy Caleb did something bad and he needs to forgive himself. Alright, so these are all the books that I got recently. Like I always say, super excited to dive into them. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned today, if you liked them, if you hated them, if you're going to read any of them, if you own any of them, just let me know. I want to talk books with you guys. I really love hearing other people's thoughts and opinions on things. So yeah, let me know what you're reading, what's happening. Tell me your life, I need to know. <laughs> Not really, okay, I'm creepy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.